Hi, my name is Phil and I'm a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I want to use this video to show you how you can derive the escape velocity for a small object like a rocket that's trying to leave the gravitational pull of a larger object like a planet or Earth. Now, if you do find these videos useful or you enjoy the videos, then do consider becoming a member. I have probably two to four months worth of videos saved in the members section, as well as other benefits as well. So do consider hitting that join button. Now, before we go any further to actually derive the escape velocity, let's actually define what it actually is. So the, it is the speed required for a object to escape the gravitational pull of another massive object such as a planet and the example we can give here can probably be earth because it's uh, makes a bit more sense here we launch rockets into space we need them to be greater than the escape velocity in order to go actually go into space so the simple scenario is let's consider a projectile that's launched vertically from earth now it could be anything here i've just put some random shape could be a rocket, could be anything, but what we want is this projectile that's being launched vertically from the surface of the Earth. Now what we need to do is find a minimum initial velocity of that object so that it will escape the gravitational pull of Earth, which is trying to pull it back down. Now if it's not greater than that minimum initial velocity, it will fall back down to Earth. If it's greater than that, then it will actually escape to infinity essentially. So. What we need to do first is consider the kinetic energy and also the gravitational potential energy of the object. Now we can write it in this form here where k plus u is equal to zero. Now we can then define the gravitational potential energy as u here and that is equal to minus the gravitational constant times the mass of the celestial object, in this case here would be Earth, times the mass of the object or the projectile or rocket and then you divide that by r which is the distance from the center of that, ob that celestial object which would be the radius of earth if we're launching from the surface of the earth r would be the radius of the earth there we can then define the kinetic energy of that object that projectile as a half mv squared where m would be the mass of the actual object and V would be the velocity of that object as well, or that body. Now we can go back and put those in exchange for K and U and write it in this form here. And that will again equal zero. What that tells us is that we can actually equate the two. So they must equal each other out if we're essentially subtracting one from the other. So we can rearrange that now for V. What we want is the escape velocity. So if we actually rearrange for V, that will give us the minimum initial velocity we need to overcome that gravitational potential energy. So if we rearrange that, we end up with this equation here, which is V equals the square root of T2 G M over R. That's our escape velocity. Anything greater than that, any velocities greater than that, then this object will be able to escape the gravitational pull of the larger, more massive object, M. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, then just leave them down in the comments below.